Greetings and welcome to this lesson on adding and subtracting integers. In this lesson, we're going to take a few moments of your time to review the definition of an integer. We are going to present adding and subtracting integers, first using a number line and then by providing the rules to help make the process a bit easier. Finally, we are going to present a few examples in order to demonstrate how the rules are used. An integer is a negative or positive whole number. Some examples are 3, negative 3, 5, 15, and negative 73. On the other hand, 1 half, pi, or 1 and 5 tenths are not integers. As a general rule, any number that does not have a sign in front of it is a positive number. So we can assume that 3, 5 and 15 are all examples of positive numbers. There's another rule we are going to follow. Adding a positive number means moving to the right on a number line. On the other hand, adding a negative or subtracting a positive means moving to the left on a number line. So let's put this principle into action with a very simple problem. What is 1 plus 7? Mathematically, or algebraically, we say that 1 plus 7 equals x. We need to solve for x. Now, I know how easy this problem is, but bear with me for one second. To solve this problem on a number line, we start at 1, then move in the positive direction 7 spaces, and we wind up at the number 8, which is, of course, what 1 plus 7 is, 8. Now, let's look at a more difficult problem. What is negative 8 plus 3 minus 1? To make our life easier, we can look at the problem as a series of integers by considering the sign as an operation. So from left to right, we are combining negative 8, positive 3, and a negative 1. To combine these numbers, we start at negative 8, move 3 spaces to the right, and then move one space to the left. The answer is negative 6. One more for demonstration purposes. What is negative 5 plus 7 minus a negative 2? Again, let's consider the elements rather than the problem as a whole. We are really looking at combining negative 5, positive 7, and a positive 2. Because remember that two negatives is equal to a positive. We are going to start at negative 5, where you are going to move 7 spaces to the right, and then we're going to move an additional 2 spaces to the right. So what we have is we start at negative 5, move 7 spaces to the right, and then move an additional 2 spaces to the right. Therefore, w is equal to 4. Okay, I agree. Using a number line has a purpose up to a point. After a while, it becomes rather tedious, but it is a good backup plan in case you get stuck. Perhaps an easier way to solve addition and subtraction problems when dealing with negative and positive numbers is to simply follow a set of easy to remember rules. The first rule, when combining numbers who have the same sign, add the numbers and keep the sign. So, for example, 1 plus 7. Notice both are positive numbers. Add the numbers and keep the sign. The answer is 8. Negative 2 plus a negative 3. Both numbers are negative. So add the digits 2 plus 3 and keep the sign. The answer is negative 5. Final example negative 4 minus 3. Now at first you may think this example does not fit the rule, but it does. We are being asked to combine negative 4 and a negative 3. 4 plus 3 is 7 and we keep the sign, a negative. So the answer to this last problem is negative 7. Rule number 2. Combining numbers when the signs are different. When the signs are different, 
subtract the numbers, then use the sign of the number with a greater magnitude. For example, 1 plus a negative 7, the signs are different. Following the rule we just said, rule number 2, we find the difference between the numbers and then use the sign of the number with a greater magnitude. The difference between 1 and 7 is 6. The larger number is negative, so the answer is negative 6. How about negative 2 plus 3? The signs are different, a negative and a positive. Subtract the numbers, 3 minus 2, and use the sign of the larger number, which is positive 3. The answer is a positive 1. Our last example. Suppose you're asked to solve negative 4 minus a negative 3. At first, it might not seem as though the signs are different, but in actuality, they are. Negative 4 is clearly negative. Minus a negative 3 is actually equal to a positive 3, since two negatives do make a positive. Therefore, the signs are different, so we find the difference. The difference between 4 and 3 is 1, and since 4 has the larger magnitude, we keep its sign. The answer to this example is negative 1. So what did we learn? We saw how to add and subtract integers using a number line and using the rules. Try to keep in mind when combining integers that when the signs are the same, add and keep the sign. When the signs are different, find the difference and keep the sign of the number with a larger magnitude. Thank you for joining us as we looked at adding and subtracting integers. Take some time to practice these skills in order to make them your own. Don't be afraid to draw a number line if you get stuck. It is a great tool to have. Join us again soon in another lesson.